came out beautiful. So yeah, I used the brand, which I actually really like the consistency of this poly gel. I just don't like that the tubes are empty. Shut up. Leland, we're working on that, guys. Don't leave a comment, okay? So this is the sparkly color that I use as an accent. <laughs> Leland, you're going to get a spanking and we're not going to go swim. Okay. Blab with Brittany. Okay, you guys. So quick disclaimer. If you're here for a detailed professional video on how to do poly gel nails you're in the wrong goddamn place because i am a beginner and i was out of frame almost the entire time so you know still subscribe because next time i'll film the video from up above instead of the side um so yeah you're basically just here to kick it with me shoot the shit with an old friend talk about shit i think i know about these nails and see the end results so yeah stay tuned hey y'all so i have all my stuff laid out i'm gonna show y'all here in a second i've been practicing poly gel nails and i don't know how this video is gonna go because i'm not good at it yet i'm still practicing but we're gonna do a little practice uh, set today uh. and these probably gonna come off soon because i have more stuff coming that i want to practice with but yeah i'm gonna try to show y'all as much as i can leland he wants to say hi hi Black Panther! Apache! Apache! Badada! Apache! Yeah. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I have laid out, show you guys the plan for the set. So, let me show you guys what I have. So, this is my little setup. I've created a whole station because that's how much I've been doing this. So, over here, I have my rigged up light. This is like the mini light that comes with most of the kits and a charger from timu that i don't use and i did it like this so that i can cure and hold the nail at the same time to prevent air bubbles like this flash cure and then i can stick it in one of the lamps for a fuel cure i have my slip solution i have my two colors that we're going to be using i want to use this sparkly color on my ring fingers and this color on every other finger. I'll show you guys how that looks. I got my brush, my spatula, my drill. I have a bigger drill, but I'm testing out this drill today. Slip solution, the little dusting brush. I'm gonna be pushing my cuticles back with this. And I'll use the sanding band to remove all the shine. We have primer, well, dehydrator, then primer. Then we have our base coat and our top coat. So, oh, and I have my dual forms laid out. Let me show you. Dual forms laid out right over here. I also have my fan and my laptop right here because, baby, this takes a long time when you're a beginner. So, yeah, let's get started. Hey, y'all. Voiceover Brittany here. So, right now, I'm just going in to do a little nail prep. Um, please make sure that you do watch an actual <laughs> poly gel video because I should have filmed this from up above and not from the side. I learned my lesson because half of this stuff I'm about to show y'all, y'all didn't even go see it. But, um, I just pushed my cuticles back and opened up a pack of Teddy Grahams for Leland. Now I'm setting up my drill because I'm going to use the little ball cuticle bit on my cuticles. You want to get all the dead skin off of your nail plate because that's what causes lifting. Um, after that, I'm going to go in with the sanding band and sand all the shine off of the nails. You don't want to like thin your nail plate out. You just want to like kind of rough it up a little bit. You can do that with a hand file too, but you know I'm a professional now. So I use the drill. <laughs> Got it on Amazon. Y'all. Yeah. Um... And yeah, that's this part. <laughs> yeah, still, still sanding. And I sped this up. Okay, all right. So now we're going to go in with the little brush and brush all the dusties off. I was washing my hands at first, but somebody said not to wash your hands because the nail plate can hold water. So, I just brush off the dusties, use my nail dehydrator, 
you don't need too much just a little bit that also if you don't feel comfortable sanding your nails you can just use the dehydrator then after that we're gonna go in with a little bit of primer okay same with the dehydrator you don't need too much this just helps for when you apply the nails you giving it something to stick to so just a little dab dab be kind of stingy with it like they do at the nail shop and after that then you go in with the base coat and my recommendation is that you only base coat the nail you're about to work on because another video said if you base coat all your fingers even after you cure it the base does not completely dry so you're going to be working with your hands getting stuff stuck to it so yeah just base coat the nail you're about to work on and then cure it for 30 seconds Okay guys, so I'm gonna use the sparkling color on my thumbs and on my ring fingers. And I think I'm gonna, instead of doing one hand, one hand, I'm gonna do thumb, thumb, finger, finger. That I think will motivate me to actually finish because there's been several attempts where I only did one hand. So let's do it. So this first one we'll do in real time. So I'm taking the color by Ja Whitney. This brand is on Amazon. I don't recommend it because the tubes are like barely full. I don't think I've opened this one yet, but I will show you what I mean. Okay, so this is brand new, sealed. I'm going to open the seal. And I have my dual form ready. I already put my prep and my base on my thumb. So I'm just gonna show you. Okay, yeah, all the air was right behind that first little bead. These are just so empty. Stop, Leland! Leland, if you don't get your ah. little self on, move! Hey, she! No, I'm filming my nails. Stop, Leland! Okay, so I'm putting about that much on the nail and the good thing about poly gel is that you don't have to hurry poly gel does not cure or dry until you put it in the nail lamp so i'm taking some of the slip solution wiping my brush this color is really pretty and you don't want too much slip solution but you'll know when you need to dip your brush because it'll be sticking to your brush. Now the sucky part is I actually like the texture of this brand's poly gel. I just don't like that they barely put any in the goddamn tube. Okay, so I have it spread out like that. And let me make sure my little rig is ready. It's not ready. Hold on. Hold on. I to get my rigged up light ready. So I got my nail. You can even get a clip if you need to. They have these kind of clips for the nails. The curved part goes on top. The part with the opening goes on bottom. That's helpful for when you're going into the lamp. So I'm going to go ahead, turn my light on, and place this close to the cuticle but not all the way on it and I'm just gonna do a little flash cure so that I don't get any air bubbles now that that's had a little bit of a flash cure I'm gonna go around make sure nothing's on my skin and put my clip on and then I'm gonna turn it over and fix the underside you want to make sure that the underneath part is not all thick and gloppy like that. Make sure again that you don't have no spillage. And you can flash cure. That is such a pretty color. Okay, now that that's been flash cured, I'm going to just place my finger in the lamp for 30 seconds. 
Okay, and I'll show you guys when it comes so out. I just cured it for 30 seconds. I'm about to cure the bottom side for 30 seconds too. Like facing so I've like this. cured it. That slip solution is a little oily, which I'm not used to. Keep you some alcohol nearby. I have this in an old conditioner bottle. Yeah, it's my first time seeing an oily. You want to use a lint-free wipe. You can get these real cheap on Amazon. So with the dual form, you just pinch it and it pops off. I did that a little crooked, but you can file it. And that's what you get out of the dual form. So I'm going to wipe that. I actually like that oily slip solution, but I'm shocked that that works. Yeah, that's a tad crooked, but you know, my own fault. So I'm just going to go in and file. Try to straighten this up a bit. Okay. So now I'm going to go on with my top coat. Okay, so I'll have it with the top coat. I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds and then I'll move on to the other nails. Base coat. Hey, girl. Here for 30 seconds. Hey, girl. I just. They can't see you, Papa, because it's filming the nails. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I got my dual form, and I just pull out five dual forms because my nails match from side to side. I'm going to push this product up from the bottom because they know they're wrong for that. And you can use the spatula. I just squeeze it directly onto the dual form. And I dip my brush into the slip solution. And I just use like little patting, swiping motions. Hope I'm in frame, yeah. Y'all want the poly gel to be thin on the edges and thin at the cuticle and then thicker towards the middle I'm gonna try to make sure I don't put this other one on crooked and kind of look at the other side see how it's looking so now I'm gonna take my thumb I need to turn my little fast cure light on. Is this in frame? Let me turn. Yeah, y'all in frame. Okay. And I put it close to the cuticle, but not all the way. Real quick here. Until I can let it go with no air bubbles. And I'm gonna turn it over, smooth out my underside. This part, this jelly ain't getting real thick on the underside like other ones do. Fast cure it so you don't get no air bubbles. Okay, now I'm gonna go under the big lip. 30 seconds on each side. All right, now it's been cured. Just gonna pinch the tip and pop it off. And I did it a lot more straight on this one. So I'm just going to go in with my wipe. You always want to wipe with alcohol after you cure it and pop that thing off because they say it leaves a tacky layer and you don't want to gunk up your file. Take your lint-free wipe. One thing I always forget is wiping under the nails. They say you're supposed to do that. So yeah, that's actually looking so good. I think that's my best one yet. See how it's not crooked like this one? So I'm gonna use my hand file and then apply the top coat and I'll show you and then I'll do the rest of my nails. Like both of the index, both of the middles, both the rings, both the pinkies.
because I me doing one hand once I'm done with that one hand I'll be done <laughs> all right I'll be back yeah I'm listening to this channel I'm gonna tell y'all the name in a second I gotta look but I found this girl's channel where she does her sister's nails sometimes and while she's doing the nails the sister reads creepy reddit stories oh no this is based coat I was not paying attention. Let me wipe this off. Was it not all? I'm trying to talk to y'all. Okay, I used base coat when I was supposed to be top coat, but that is looking damn good. They need to make these a different color or something. The door slammed shut of its own accord. I jerked my head to stare at it. Look at me. The reflection ordered. All right, finna cure for 30 seconds and move on to my other nails. I'll come back to show you guys the final. Okay, guys, so the nails are completely done. I am in love. This is the best set yet. I think y'all gave me some good luck. So now I'm just finna go in with this cuticle oil. I think I got this from Five Below like a million years ago. But I do like the method that i did where i did one thumb did the other thumb did one pointer did the other pointer because every other time i've attempted to do my nails i do one hand and then the other hand just feels like okay i don't have the energy to do this so i'm just rocking one hand but this way you're gonna finish because it's just like oh i only got a couple nails left i do want to get a different cuticle oil because this one kind of sucks it's probably expired by now, but you know, do what you got. And we're just gonna rub that in. Oh, I'm so impressed with myself. So yeah, these are the nails, uh, sparkly. They're not all the same length. I'm still working on that part, but sparkly ring, yeah. sparkly thumb. That came out beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I used the brand, which I actually really like the consistency of this poly gel. I just don't like that the tubes are empty. Shut up. Leland, we're working on that, guys. Don't leave a comment, okay? So this is the sparkly color up, that I use as an accent. <laughs> Leland, you're going to get a spanking and we're not going to go swim. Yeah. This is the nudie color I used on the other ones. That's the brand. Me. I also used their slip solution which is like the oily kind. I'm gonna go to the store today and get 91% alcohol and see if I like that as well. But this actually worked really good. It's my first time using an oily slip. And I also used the base and top coat by that brand that came in the kit. So yeah, I will leave a link to the kit down in the description box below because you do get a million colors in that kit. You get it on Amazon. This is my nail lamp box. And I'm just storing all the little tubes of poly gel in there. But baby, poly gel for days. I think I'm so impressed with this because this is my first time doing it with poly gel from Amazon. All the other poly gel I've been using is from Timu. And it's definitely a different, this one's thicker, more firm, and not sticky. The one from uh, Timu is a little bit looser and a little bit stickier. But you just gotta play around with it and figure out what slip solution you like, what amount of slip solution. And yeah, there are actual nails. I know my sister is a little bit skeptical, but they came out beautiful. All right, see you guys in the next one. Let me know what you think, bye. Lab with Brittany.